All right, this is my moment of truth. Uh, here's the more or less finished product, my bean sheller. Uh, if you saw my dry run video, I'm probably going to put some kind of cover on top just for safety, but uh, since everything else is more or less put together, I just couldn't wait to test it out. So a little bit about the bean sheller. Um, just start over here. Access panel. You can uh, reach in and scoop out whatever you need to. Um, I guess when the thing's running, the beans are going to slide down here into this gap and into this uh, little drawer I got. It pulls out this little tray. So we can go ahead and close that back. Um, everything's powered by this motor. I'm going to guess it's a 1930s vintage GE. Grandpa gave it to me. It's a continuous duty, 1700 RPM. So it's powering this shaft here which powers the paddles, if you see those in there. So those paddles are spinning about 1700 RPM. Down here we're taking power off the shaft, transferring it through these pulleys here back to this big pulley, which is attached to the drum. Uh, it is in no way attached to the shaft, it's only attached to the drum. So between the reductions here, uh, while the paddles are spinning at uh, 1700 RPM, the drum's gonna spin about 80. Uh, and as you see on this drum, we've got the little safety latches here. Um, so I'll go ahead and load it up. Just got a couple butter beans here. Um, separated them inside. These are the butter beans that are a little more dry. They stayed on the bush a little longer. Um, so we'll just see how they do. I bought a bushel this morning at the farmer's market, and if this doesn't work, I'm in trouble. But uh, I think it's going to work. So I'll go ahead and load these up and uh, see what happens. All right, so I've gone ahead and uh, poured the beans inside there and got it all latched back up. If you also saw the dry run video, the drive shaft, it's a little out of balance. I had to weld two shafts together to make a long story short. Ultimately, I think I'm gonna have to replace it with just one solid shaft, but it'll do for now. Um, and I think that's it. Let's hope this works and doesn't blow up. Okay, so a couple beans went flying out. I guess I'll need to do the uh, safety lid sooner than later, but ultimately we've got shelled beans and they're in good shape. They're not torn up or anything. So I would call that a success. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it.